Welcome, we're here with Jess, who is enjoying a cozy night in. That's right, and she's lighting up. Is that candle? Triple wick pumpkin spiced, yes. Oh, she is setting the harvest mood. <gasps> is that a tasteful autumnal wreath? Someone's been to Marshall's again. Well, with quality home decor at great prices, what's stopping her? Oh, Ooh. and a cozy blanket to top it all off. That is so fall. Better get to Marshall's. Fabulous brands. Feel good prices at, at Marshall's. Marshalls. Every day, thousands of hackers try to steal your crypto. But Arculus uses air-gapped technology by forming a protective barrier that insulates you from hackers and secures your crypto. Order yours at GetArculus.com. Welcome back. Welcome back to another episode of Off Night Radio. I'm your host, Mato. Glad, glad to be back off summer vacation. NFL season is amongst us. It's time to get into these picks, time to get into this news, time to get into some stuff that's been on my mind, stuff I want to talk about. Um, but nonetheless, we are here back. We got a show to do. Time to get into my HugeHealthTips.com sports headlines brought to you by HugeHealthTips.com. Be healthy, be informed. Running back Le'Veon Bell has signed with the Baltimore Ravens practice squad, and that might change soon because breaking news, Gus Edwards may have torn his ACL and may be out for the remainder of the season. So Le'Veon Bell may be getting some, maybe getting more action than he anticipated by signing to the Baltimore Ravens. So that practice squad, he might be upgraded within the next few weeks or so. We'll see what happens. Uh, Dallas Cowboys guard, all pro guard, Zach Martin is expected to miss week one with a positive co- uh, a positive COVID test. He, so he may not be on the field against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the, in the first game of the season. But owner Jerry Jones says he's going to be testing Zach Martin up until just about two hours before the game so they can get to, to possibly get two consecutive negative tests. And if that happens, Zach Martin will be able to play. But it's, it's looking like it's going to be less than likely that Zach Martin is going to be available for that game. Um, congratulations to Albert Pujols who hit his 679th home run, returning to the St. Louis, returning to St. Louis Cardinals, a team, uh, a place where he spent um, almost I think 10 plus years of his career. Hit his 679th. I think this is his last season. He looks, he doesn't look like he's in <laughs> too much shape to be doing this for too much longer. But walking Hall of Famer, glad to see Albert Pujols um, do something like that. Um, Donald Trump is expected to be the alternate telecast for the Evander Holyfield Victor Belfort fight. So uh, the fight's going to be on Triller, but uh, Donald Trump is going to be the commentator for an alternate po- for an alternate telecast of the fight, and that should be very very interesting. Last but not least, congratulations to Derek Jeter, uh, Larry Walker, and and um, Ted Simmons, who were inducted to the Hall of Fame. I think there was one more person. Sorry if I left their name out. Uh, who was inducted to the 2020 Hall of Fame? They had their ceremony. Um, and I'm going to talk about that. I got to have an off-night podcast episode about Derek Jeter. Somebody said something about Derek Jeter that made me laugh. I mean, I was, I was my, laughing out of my gut. We got to talk about that. They try to disrespect Derek Jeter. Time to get into my main topics. But before we do that, I got to let you guys know about CBDMD. CBDMD brings THC, THC free, gluten free, vegan, non GMO CBD oil products. CBD believes in providing high quality CBD at an affordable price. Go to CBDMD.com, use the promo code MADO, M A D O, and get 15% off your entire order. That uh, promo code is good at any time of the year, um, at any time, yeah, at any time of the year, any any uh, season or anything like that. So go to CBDMD.com, the most high quality CBD products on the web. Time to get into our main topics. Ladies and gentlemen, over the summer vacation, you know, I, I stopped doing the show over the summer. Uh, it just started, I should wait to the, to, to the NFL season to you know to get back before I get back into it. Um, nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, I hear a bunch of people talking about who's going to go to the Super Bowl, who's not going to go to the Super Bowl. It, it's all jibber-jabber. I'm telling tell you right now, I have no idea who's going to go to the Super Bowl. Not a clue. Not a guess. I'm going to tell you why. Because in the NFL, there's injuries. And now in this season, we have COVID. COVID can take out half a team. COVID can take out your best player. So COVID can take out your quarterback. COVID can take out your left tackle, your defensive. T- COVID can it, it strike at any moment. COVID can take out your coaching staff. COVID can take, you know, and I don't know how that that unknown, injuries is already unknown, but that unknown alone doesn't, I can't just pick a, a Super Bowl team. Um, so I don't know who's going to be in the Super Bowl team. I got to wait and see. Around week eight, around week six, around week eight, I might be able to give you a more solid answer on who I think is going to make it to Super Bowl 56 at SoFi Stadium. But I don't know. And nobody else knows either. So look, you listen to all these uh, 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 sports pundits giving all the predictions. They, they, you can't. It's hard. It's COVID out here. Tom Brady can catch COVID, and I don't even know who the backup is for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Speaking of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, 
I'm not that high on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers as other people are. I'm, I, I don't care that they brought back 22 starters. I know for a fact they went 11 and five last year. Uh, it was it was I remember the end of the season last year where it was shaky for them to even get into the playoffs. Um, uh, I think they were about nine and five at one point, and it was it was looking like they might not get in. So. You know, I'm not that high on the Cardinals. Now, when they got in, they had a playoff run. Tom Brady's used to the playoffs. He did his thing. Congratulations to them. But them bringing 22 starters back, them bringing their whole coaching staff back, that means nothing to me. I saw this team last year, and they struggled up until they got to the playoffs. And then Tom Brady, the great Tom Brady, you know, that's when that's, this is why you go and get this guy because you get him in the playoffs, you got a shot. You get Tom Brady in the playoffs, on the road, at home, home for the event, it doesn't matter. You got a shot. At, get, at, at getting in the Lombardi Trophy, and that's what they did. They got in, and they ended up winning. So it is what it is, but I'm just not that high on the Bucks this year, um, especially l- looking at the NFC South division. Um, I'm not counting out the Atlanta Falcons. Um, I'm not counting out the Carolina Panthers. I'm definitely not counting out the New Orleans Saints. And speaking of the New Orleans Saints, I'm big on Jameis Winston this year. Check this out. This is Jameis Winston's shot at getting a second career. Tampa, what he did, what he did in Tampa is over. Tampa's won the Super Bowl after he got. It's over. They don't. They're not worried about him. He's not worried. About, it's it's over. He was number one overall draft pick. Let's not forget that he was number one overall draft pick, and I think this is this is gonna be a second life to his career. Tampa threw him away like tissue. They threw him away like a baby wipe, and you know he landed. He had to sit down for a year and not play. Let's let's not forget that as well. He's got Sean Payton. This, this is another reason why I'm big on him. They got Sean Payton. I, I trust that offense. I trust that offensive line. I think their defense is opportunistic, to say the least. And I like Jameis Winston to be successful with the uh, New Orleans Saints. I do not think he's going to go 30 interceptions this, with the New Orleans Saints. I do not think that. So, um, And he's going to be susceptible to turnovers, but it's not going to be the 30 turnover that we saw in Tampa. Um I think Jameis Winston's got to learn that sometimes you got to take the check down. Jameis Winston has a big arm, and he likes to put the ball downfield. And he's pretty damn good at it, if I, if I might add. Because with those 30 interceptions in Tampa, he had 30 touchdowns as well. So I like this Jameis Winston thing. I like this. I like him with the Saints. I like this shot at a second career, a resurrection, so to speak. Um, and, I, and, I'm, and I'm rooting for Jameis Winston this year with the New Orleans Saints. Um now, before I get into my week one NFL picks, which is the hardest to pick, by the way, because you have no reference point. You, you don't have no – if you haven't seen a team, you, you draft you – have, you have no idea, right? So before I get into my week one picks, I got to let you guys know about Bank Novo, man. Listen, it's important to separate your business account from your personal account, and the best way to do that is with Bank Novo. Bank Novo has no hidden fees, no monthly fees, easy-to-use mobile app, refund all ATM fees, and did I mention it's a free business checking account? That's right, free. And you can apply for your free business checking account today. It's a link in the description. Just take you about 10 minutes or probably even less if you know what you're doing. And then click on the link in the description and get your free business checking account today with Bank Novo. I use Bank Novo for one of my companies. Uh, I love it. Easy to use. Apps, easy to use. Beautiful interface. Everything's good. Um, I get notifications. Very safe. Um, so, yes, you want to, if you have a business, you and you need to you need to separate your business finances from your personal finances as soon as possible. I'm telling you now, and the best way to do that is with Bank Novo with a free business checking account. And just because it's free, doesn't mean it's good. It's very good. It's free and it's very very good. So make sure you check out Bank Novo. Time to get into my Week One NFL picks, man. Before we get out of here, um, I got the Bucks over the Cowboys, man. Tennessee Titans over the Cardinals. Jacksonville Jaguars over the Texans at home. I might add. Minnesota Vikings over the Bengals. Seattle Seahawks over the Colts, Buffalo Bills over the Steelers, 49ers over the Lions, Washington football team over the Chargers, my New York Jets over the Panthers, yes I do, Eagles over the Falcons in an upset, Chiefs over the Browns, Packers over the Saints, Giants over the Broncos, and Patriots, oh, Patriots over the Dolphins, Rams over the Browns, Ravens over the Raiders. Um, so yeah, so those are my picks. Those are my week one NFL picks, um, we can we're gonna we might have to revisit that next week, you know. And I was just I was just picking off my gut. I have no reference point. I haven't seen these teams. I haven't saw what they can do this year or how motivated they are this year to win. I have no idea. So I was just picking off the gut. Um, time to get into my premium bet um, presented to you by Avalo Coffee. If you have a gambling problem, please call one eight hundred Gambler. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to college football 
with my uh, premium bet this week. I like Iowa over Iowa State. Iowa's the underdog. They're coming in at plus 170, right? Check this out. Plus 170, right? So that means you bet $100. You'll win. You'll be, you'll, the, the, the come out bet would be um, $170 plus your 100 bet. So you come out, your payout is about 270 if you bet $100 on Iowa to beat Iowa State. I like the way Iowa looked last year. The fact that they're underdogs, this is why I'm picking this game. The fact that they're underdogs, I think is a mistake. I think Iowa wins this game. Um, and this is a rivalry game anyway, so it should be close. But I got Iowa edging these guys out. And that's my premium bet. I'm over and I'm out of here, man. I'm glad to be back on the show. You're definitely going to see me next week and the week after that and the week after that and the week after that. You're listening to Off Night Radio presented by uh, presented to our SRNL Media. Speaking of SRNL Media, please make sure you go to SRNL Media's YouTube page and subscribe and like. Click around. Do what you got to do. Got a lot of things planned for the YouTube page coming. And um, I need I need to get those subscribers up. I need to get those likes up. I need to get that. I need to get all of that. I need to get some activity over there. So make sure you subscribe. I'll have all the links in the description for you to do for you to do your thing. Everything I mentioned. But yeah, I'm out of here, man. Enjoy NFL. Enjoy NCAA. Enjoy tennis. Enjoy everything. Enjoy all sports this week. I'm out of here. Okay, we're at home with Jen, who is taking out the trash. That's right. And goodness, look at that designer sweater and jeans combo. Oh, she is nailing that cozy, casual look. Oh, she's opening the can. And the trash is in. She is working that driveway. Well, with Marshall's amazing prices on designer fall fashions, no one can blame her for feeling this fabulous. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, just look at that lipstick. Better get to Marshall's. Oh, I'm leaving right now. Fabulous brands. Feel good prices at Marshalls. Make your next career move your best. Verizon Retail offers the potential to earn up to $50,000 annually and amazing benefits starting on day one, including product discounts and tuition assistance. Apply today at verizon.com forward slash retail careers.